Well, hey there, guys. It's Barswolf coming at you with a new addition to my channel here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing some Minecraft texture pack reviews. Thought you guys might like to get a look at some of the different texture packs that are out there, get an idea of what you might like to play with on your single player servers and also on your multiplayer servers. Uh, I have updated to 1.4, so everything that I'll be reviewing right now, as of right now anyway, will be uh, for 1.4 or older. Uh, excuse me, or newer. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this. This here is the Wolfhound Heavenly. Uh, I think one of my contemporaries, uh, Freestyle OMG, did uh, a version of the original Wolfhound on his channel. Excellent texture pack. I went and I checked it out. I thought it was pretty cool, and I noticed that the creator of that texture pack had done some others, uh, just different modifications of the same basic Wolfhound design, and I thought I'd give them a little bit of a highlight here so without further ado here we have we let's hop in here and see what we got so this one is the wolfhound heavenly texture pack it's very nice i like it a lot let's go over here we're going to start over here with all of our stones on the bottom this here is bedrock here's our obsidian very cool obsidian kind of got like a marble look to it i like it a lot here's our bricks up top here's our stone brick uh, there's your mycelium and this is your glowstone right here. Very nice. You can see it goes all the way around the texture pack review area. Here's your glass up top there. Got a cool little design in the glass. Got the wings. Very nice. Sticks with the heavenly theme. New addition for 1.4 here is the cobblestone walls. We have the regular cobblestone and the mossy stone walls. I like the little flower in there. Very cool. I don't want to get too close. but This is a 64 by 64 uh, texture pack and it is available on planetminecraft.com. I'll throw a link in the description so that you guys can download it if you like it. Very cool. Here we have the wool textures, very intricately detailed. I like that. For a 64 by 64, it's awesome. Here's all of our wood stuffs. We have the uh, spruce wood, oak wood, uh, uh oh, I forgot, <laughs> jungle wood, and uh, this one the name escapes me but anyway here we go all of the logs the planks and the leaves very nicely done we have the uh, slabs I think you guys can figure out what those are with our pressure plates stone and wood very cool here's our ores we have redstone ore diamond ore emerald ore lapis lazuli ore gold ore iron ore and coal ore very nice Here's our jack-o'-lantern, melon and pumpkin, with snow and cobweb. And my ice keeps melting, so I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to show you right in the video. Boom. I'm going to put... There we go. Ice. Very nice, as my neighbor's dogs go insane in the background. Freaking douchebags. Anyway, we have our steps. I think you can figure out what all those are. Those are our brick steps. Very nice. Stone brick steps, cobblestone steps, all our wood steps are very good. Here we have our, our ore blocks. We have diamond, emerald, lapis lazuli, gold, iron, and TNT. And if you look up here, here's our very cool. Look at that. The bird's wings flick out. That's awesome. That's our glowstone or our redstone lamp. Very nice. All right, some new, some other new stuff for 1.4. We have our placeable mob heads. We have our skeleton, wither skeleton, zombie, the Steve head, and the creeper head. The Steve head is really weird. See up inside it. Anyway, we have our iron bars with our regular gate. Our glass panes with our nether brick fence, rather regular gate with our regular fence. Our glass panes with our nether brick fence and open and close very cool there's our gate hope you're enjoying the review hope it we have our ladder our vines you can see climb the vines Woo we have our note block our jukebox yet another addition to 1.4 here's our anvil and you can actually see you can repair items in the anvil very cool we have our cauldron we have our furnace with the inventory very nicely done inventory. Kind of looks like it's been sketched out. Very nice. And we have our work table. We have our bed. We have our normal chest, 
our double chest and our ender chest. Very awesome. Let's head around side here. And we're going to start out over here. Here's all of our armors. Starting from the top, we have our gold armor. I'll fly up there so you guys can get a better look at it. Looks like a crown. It's actually very cool with the corresponding sword. And if you look here, all of the swords have been turned into hammers. I thought that was pretty cool. And then we have our leather armor with the wooden sword. Our chain armor with the stone sword. Our iron armor with the iron sword. And our diamond armor with the diamond sword. Very cool. I, I like that, how those kind of like sandals with a skirt. Very cool. Alright, here's some uh, miscellaneous items that we have here. All of our dyes. Okay. Yeah, here's our coal and our charcoal. Very cool. Come up here, some of our seeds. There's a feather, your emerald. Sticks and your blaze rods. Very cool. Come down here. We have uh, some of our enchanting materials. Our enchanting bottles for drinking. Our splash potion bottles. Very nice. Here we have all our tools. Starting at the bottom, we have our bow and arrow. We have our clock and our compass. Our wooden tools. Our stone tools. Iron tools. Gold tools and diamond tools. Very nice. There's your pickaxe, your shovel, your axe, and your hoe. That's it. Here's all of our food stuff. I think you guys can see that. Both of the golden apples. Very nice. Bread. Pie new potatoes that we added. One thing that I'm doing here is I'm showing off one of the other new additions to 1.4 and that is the, the <clears throat> unit frame. Wow. The item frame. Item frame. You can basically, you can place, you can take this frame. Let's get rid of all this crap right here. Huh? Let's go over here. Let's grab the item frame from our decoration blocks. Boom. You can then place the frame, and as you can see, it becomes empty, and you can just pick anything that you want to put in there. Like to say you wanted to put a sign in there, and you plop, plop a sign in there. Now look at that. Isn't that cool? You have a picture of a sign. Awesome, huh? All right, so we have some more miscellaneous items here. We have our buckets, our books, our paper. Here's your beacon, which allows you to give power to your base see here start out with our mob eggs here very cool I like how everything's kind of got that wing design to go with the heavenly all of our records <laughs> they're little birds I hadn't noticed that before that's awesome all right let's head downstairs and check out some more stuff and our passive mobs all right so we've got our wooden door with our wooden button very nice all right we got our iron door with our stone button I like that the angel's wings the creator of this texture pack did an outstanding job on just on everything it just looks insanely good all right so we have our trap door i like that that's going to be great for your creative worlds where you're going to be using it as decoration on a on a glowstone lamp that's going to look so good here we have our pistons our sticky piston and our normal piston very cool and our dispenser that is an awesome looking dispenser, isn't it? Look at the detail on the side. Somebody spent quite a long time on this texture pack. You guys should give a look to this. It's it's awesome. All right, so here we have our redstone lamps, our trip uh, trip wire hooks with our trip wire. It doesn't look like there's anything strung in there, but aha! See that? Here's our inactive redstone dust. There we go. Very cool. Here's our torches. Our redstone repeater. I like how it looks like two torches slam down and you can see we can just stretch that out there. Very cool. Here's our active redstone dust. It looks like flames on the ground, little wings on the ground. I like that. Very cool. Our brew stand with bottles and the inventory. Very nice. Our bent rail. Our powered rail. Wee wee. Very good. Our normal rail and our detector rail. Our mine carts with a chest and with a furnace. There's our pig with a saddle and our carrot on a stick, which allows us to control the pig now. Yet another new addition. And see, this is what I was talking about with that obsidian. Does that not look awesome or what? That is like one of the best looking nether portals I've ever seen. That is freaking wicked. 
And I just popped the glass on there because in 1.4, actually 1.3.2, you have a chance to spawn zombie pigmen coming out of the portal, and I really don't want them wandering around my texture pack area. But anyway, here we have our end portal with our eye of ender and our end portal frames. Just a beautiful texture pack, guys. I would definitely recommend heading to planetminecraft.com, checking out everything that this texture pack creator has done. Everything is really good. All right, so let's check out our passive mobs here. We got our sheep. Very nice. It's hard to see them a little bit with the glass. Not that that's a bad thing, but this glass would be great for a creative world. We have our pigs, and as you can see, we do have a couple different textures for the pigs. Very nice. Here's our cows. Nicely done. And here's our chickens. As you can see, we got a couple green chickens, a couple normal chickens. Very cool. There's your egg there. Awesome. And we have our lava and our water. Both your static water and static lava and your moving. Very nice. And I kind of went a little different and I just blocked them off with pressure plates because I wanted you guys to be able to see the whole thing. So it wasn't blocked off with a whole block. Very cool there. Alrighty, I'm just going to put this glass back real quick. Alright, there we go. And and I removed our button. Way to go, Chief. Let's put that button back. Let's put that button back. There we go. And there's our puppies. Very nice puppies. I like them. See a couple different colors on the skin. Again takes a lot of time and effort to put that kind of work into it. Very nice. And here we have our ocelots. Ooh, they look like kind of like little pumas or, or panthers or jaguars. Jaguars, that's it. Look like little jaguars. Very cool. And oh no. Oh no, the bookshelves aren't done. That's okay. It's okay. With the, the amount of work that's gone into this texture pack, it's okay. The, the creator's bound to miss something. It might be me. It might be something where my OptiFine didn't load it. It's okay. That would be your bookshelves. And here's your enchanting table with the inventory that is done. And we'll just grab this and drop the sign in there. The sign's not going to be enchantable, dummy. Let's grab a sword here. Drop the sword. And look, the font is done. Very nice. Give me my sword back. Give it, give it, there we go. Here's just a little selection of the paintings. Awesome artwork here. I like it a lot. Just to show that the paintings are done, I'll let you guys discover some of those paintings for yourselves. I don't want to show you everything. All right, let's head outside and check out our plants now, huh? And it's turned to night while we were downstairs, so let's go ahead and turn it back to day. First thing we're going to do is, before we go down Wait there, up. we're going to check out our... Very nice. Our squid are done. See that? And while we're here, let's go ahead and check out our survival mode HUD with inventory. Very nice. We'll check out our bubbles. Everything is done. Very nice. I like the HUD. Again, kind of looks like that sketch design. Very cool. All right, so let's come over here. We have our melon and our pumpkin with their stalks. We have our wheat. Nice golden wheat. Looks really good. I like that. Our flowers and our roses. We have our mushrooms that like to grow. We have our cactus and our sugar cane. Very good. <laughs> Look at that. Little little wings on the sugar cane. Very cool. We have our giant mushrooms. A lot of white. Very bright texture pack. I like it. I like it a lot. This has become one of my new favorite texture packs. And we're going to go ahead and set this to easy. And we'll set it to night, too, just so that we can spawn everything. We'll click that button a couple times. All right, and here's our creepers. Oh, those are some gory-looking creepers. I like them a lot. Let's hit one. There we go. Gory-looking creepers. Very nice. We have our skeletons. Awesome-looking skeletons. I like them. Very cool. We have our spiders that seem to want to derp out on me. I, I haven't been able to figure out how to keep them from dying. Uh, but very cool looking spiders. We have our zombies. 
Oh, some zo Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's just... He's not happy to be here. And of course, in 1.4.2, uh, they can now carry weapons and armor. Very nice. We have our slimes. Not a traditional looking slime, but still very nice. We have our zombie pigmen. These guys have gotten noisy, haven't they? There's our zombie pigmen, very cool. Here we have our cave spiders, the little boogers. Nice and dark and black to fit in in the cave, huh? Very cool. Here we have our Endermen, and they're done as well. A couple different skins on them. Very nice. I like all of this texture pack a lot, in case you hadn't been able to tell. And there's our Silverfish, and everybody always seems to forget the Silverfish. I think it's because they're just tiny little mob, and it's hard to find a skin that'd fit them. Oh, this guy's trying to escape. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get. No. No. Stop it. Oh, son of a... Hold on. Forgot when you... Stop! Get... Okay, get out of there. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> Alright, so here's our villagers. Ooh, creepy looking dudes. They have faces on them. Kind of looks like Justin Bieber a little bit, I guess. I don't know. And we hear... What the hell? We poured it through the wall. We have our magma cubes, very cool, very cute looking. We have our bats. The bats are done, very nice. That's one of the new additions to 1.4.2. Very nice. And here we have the witches. The witches are done. Awesome. And here, oh, look at that blaze. That is that is an awesome, amazing blaze. I like that a lot. Look at that guy. Is he not evil looking or what? That is just awesome. And here we have our ghast. Pissed off ghast and normal ghast. Very cool. I like this texture pack a lot. Let's head outside. Let's turn the time to noon just so we can have a nice little view of the surrounding world and give you an idea what the terrain looks like with this texture pack. Ah, look at that. See? Does this not make a beautiful world or what? Let's head over here and check out the... More squiddies down there, more pigs. Check out a little Tega biome here. Everything here, let's set this to peaceful so I don't have to keep hearing them go off in my ear. There we go. Very nice looking texture pack. I like it a lot, guys. I would highly recommend this for both your single player world and multiplayer. It will look really good on a multiplayer server. Um, not as dark as some of the other texture packs, but I like that. I like that it's a little bit different. So there you go. That is Wolfhound Heavenly. Again, it is a 64 by 64 texture pack. And I will throw a link in the description of this video for you guys so that you can check it out. Feel free to uh, leave a comment below of any other texture packs that you'd like me to review. And I'd be, excuse me, be happy to shoot them out there on the interwebs. And remember, guys, if you can't be good, be good at it.